So before the race, it will be quite spectacular for folks parking at some of the uh, outskirts. They do have that uh, ride program where you can just call in and they'll pick you up wherever you are in a golf cart if you don't want to take the heat. But if you can take it 81 when the green flag drops at one o'clock, not too bad. A bit more cloud cover on the way home from the race, and that's really going to set us up for what we're going to be looking at on our WBTM 13 live Doppler tomorrow. This is all in in real time, but we do suspect a little bit more cloud cover and humidity will nudge into areas of West Alabama and kind of generate a little stalled out boundary. You can only really depict where this stalled out system is with cloud cover. This is our future cast. Notice it starts to get a bit more dense into Sunday morning. That means temperatures will not be quite as cold. So if you did do some camping last night, it won't be quite as frigid. It's consistently showing in model run to model run a lot more dense clouds, mid-level moisture, a little bit more humidity at the surface. But shortly after the green flag drops at one o'clock for the Geico 500, we're just looking at cloud cover. In fact, this may even be displaced a bit more southward, but I don't anticipate any of these rain showers to really make any uh, pit stops, uh, so to speak, at the racetrack. Now there looks to be a bit more convection by five or six o'clock, but I think this forecast model run is more contingent upon the heating of the day not really showing real time weather. The only way you're going to get that is by tuning in and looking at our WBTM 13 live Doppler. We stream it to our website. You can grab it on our app. Plenty of ways to get it, but sunshine, I'm sure when you look up is probably the only thing you want to know about, right? Let's get into the Sunday forecast with 81, 85 Monday and 87 on Tuesday. So if we don't get something to hammer down those temperatures, will steadily move up on the thermometer. So a bit more cloud cover tomorrow. That slight chance later in the day, mainly just looking at cloud cover, though, will not spoil your Sunday plans. Getting closer to 90 by midweek, rain chances prevent our temperatures from getting any hotter. Hotter, that starts on Thursday and Friday.